Well, our next report looks at the investigative public hearing on the Bunga crude oil spill. The House of Representatives Committee on Environment has directed Shell Nigeria Exploration Company to pay the sum of $3.6 billion, which is about 604 billion naira, as damages for the Bunga oil spill caused by its equipment failure. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Uche Kunife, gave the directive during an investigative public hearing on the Bunga crude oil spill, which occurred on December 20, 2011. The breakdown of the independent value analysis adopted by the committee indicated that 63.6 billion naira is to be paid for direct losses, which are irreversible damages, another 103.19 billion naira for loss of income, 85 billion naira for provision of water, while another 27.4 billion naira is for forestry. For the indirect losses, the oil company is to pay 14.35 billion naira for health hazards, 8 million naira for injurious infection, and 302.4 billion naira for punitive damages. We have arrived at the following conclusions. That SNEPCO agreed in their submission to the committee that a spill estimated at 40,000 barrels occurred in December 20, 2011. The cause of the spill was equipment failure based on their report. The spill impacted on an area covering about 920 square kilometer. And that the post-impact assessment was carried out 15 months after the spill. And that indicated that there were reversible and irreversible impacts on the marine environment. That the damage assessment report brought by NOSRA to us showed that natural resource damage and loss of income amounted to 1.8 billion should be paid by SNEPCO. There is also a punitive damage of the same amount in line with international best practice that should also be paid by SNEPCO. And the committee says that since all efforts uh, by this committee were tactfully rebuffed by SNEPCO, the committee has decided to adopt the damage assessment report submitted by NOSRA on the lead agency as the lead agency in all oil, man oil spill management. All the administrative costs and fees of the consultants engaged to carry out the assessment being 10% of the assessed damage should be paid by SNEPCO to NOSRA. Since SNEPCO has refused to cooperate with the committee, cooperate with NOSRA, which is the lead agency in all oil matters, the committee has no other alternative than to adopt the position of NOSRA and also take the recommendations of the independent valuers on this matter. Now, my colleague Linda Kigwe had an interview with Senator Danjuma Goje on several issues, such as the recent face-off between lawmakers and officers of the Nigerian police. They also spoke about the extension of the emergency rule in the Northeast. Now, what crossed my mind is that, uh, that I think democracy is in danger, uh, our country is in danger, because what has happened has never happened before, and nobody thought it could ever happen under a democratic system that we are operating in Nigeria. It's condemnable, and it's in fact a show of shame for the country, for members of the National Assembly to be forced to climb the fence in order to get access into the Assembly only for them to be tear gassed by the police. This is unprecedented, this is condemnable. It really disturbed me and disturbed every law, uh, peace uh, loving Nigerians. In fact, everybody in the world, worldwide. Because it's no longer a localized Nigeria. Is, uh, Nigeria is part of the global village. So this, what happened yesterday, is known all over the world. And it's a show of shame. 
how the things degenerate to this level where we have a situation where we have that kind of chaos in the National Assembly on Thursday? Long ago, we foresaw the need to change the leadership of this country. You know, I remember I was in the PDP, I was a, a foundation member of the PDP from 1998. But last year, we were forced to decamp from PDP to APC, because we saw what was happening in PDP as undemocratic, as something that's not going to take this country to the promised land. Although it is a surprise, but I think it's a culmination of what has been happening day by day, impunity by impunity, this impunity today, this impunity tomorrow, uncheck, another impunity, uncheck. They may even do us. You never can tell. Because, have, because a system of is a, is a, this system of humanity, uh, impunity. So it's a gradual thing that has started unnoticed initially. Uh, it's, but the press, we have been condemning it. We are in the opposition, we have been condemning it. People thought we were joking, but they have seen it yesterday. So we don't know what will happen next. We don't know. Maybe worse impunity may happen. But we don't pray, we don't pray for that. Now, th th for the past three days, the Senate has been discussing the extension of emergency rule, which President Jonathan had asked the Senate to approve the extension of emergency rule in Adamawa, Yobi, and Borno states. Some lawmakers ha are opposed to the extension of emergency rule in the three states. What, I what is your opinion about this? Would you want, do you support an extension of emergency rule in the three states? You see, if you are, if you are sick, and you are suffering from headache, and you go to a doctor, he gives you medi one medicine. You go back, after two three, two, three days, the headache comes back, and he gives you the same medicine. You go back, you take the medicine. After two, three days, the, the headache comes back again. You go back, and he gives you the same medicine. Will you go back to the same doctor again? Because he keeps on giving you the same thing, and what you're complaining of is not, in, in fact, in, in decreasing, but uh, uh, increasing. So if you go to the doctor, you, the patient, and the doctor, you are all fools. The doctor who keeps on giving the same, the same prescription over and over and over without seeing any sign of positive results is not smart. And the patient who goes to the doctor and keeps on receiving the same medications for the same disease, I see any improvement.